Thanks for coming here for uh, Blue Sky Gallery. Um, I'm on the board of Blue Sky Gallery, and uh, you know, if all nonprofits need support, and we definitely do too. So tonight, I'm actually going to write something down that's pinned, and it's going to be again a 30% off for until midnight Eastern. So that's like two hours after this thing ends. 30% off all books. 30% um, code, and the code is Blue Sky, and all of the um, money that I make tonight goes directly to Blue Sky Gallery. I don't know if I didn't tell them that, but that's, so yeah, we, we need to, you know, we need to help help the peoples out. Anyway, so, uh, oh, I have to pin that, one second. Oh, I see, I see Zara. Okay, I'm gonna pin that comment. Please let me know if that actually uh, pins, and I think Zara's coming in. Zara, are you there? Do you exist? Ooh, yeah, very good. Hey, okay. man. Hi, uh, <laughs> dude. You uh, have to move your face up just a little bit. Move your yeah, face yeah. up so that yeah. the text, fucking text. Anyway, um, anyway. hi. How's it going? Hello. What do, you live in Fayetteville, Arkansas? Is that correct? Fayetteville, Arkansas. Yes, sir. And how long have you lived there? Uh, I've been here for two years now. Uh, June. Am I still here? Did I get cut off? No, you're still here. You're good. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, and, well, where are you from? Because you're, you are, a, would you consider yourself a, like, Midwesterner? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm from uh, Des Moines, Iowa, actually. Um, I have, uh, my first tattoo is the state of Iowa. Um, oh, snap, you gotta move it up yeah. a little bit, because there's text in my face. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Can you see it? Oh, shit. Yeah, I got it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. I'm. Uh, I grew up in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, yeah, lived in the Midwest. Did you live there for uh, a long life. time, or like just growing up and yeah, moving I mean, up there. Yeah, yeah. So I lived there until I went to grad school. Um, yeah, in Nebraska, and then cool. from Nebraska to Arkansas. Yeah. Wow. I mean, wow. Those are qu quite the states that you've seen, like in. <laughs> long term fashion um so yeah. i know that you did you your undergrad was not um in photography or art at all is that correct uh yeah so um i uh studied psychology uh thought i was going to be a uh, counseling psychologist um and i did that degree at <clears throat> excuse me at iowa state university uh, um they knew, then, uh, they knew see this iowa yeah they yeah know. yeah no yeah people yeah people know people are here <laughs> uh but yeah so then i went to uh the university of iowa and i actually i don't have my degree from there i actually don't have a degree in art technically um like an undergrad yeah. degree in art yeah so i uh, uh <laughs> okay wait yeah <laughs> uh, are you saying that you have a master's but no undergrad is that what you're saying right now well no i have a i have a, a bachelor's in psychology so yes. it still like yeah. qualifies right well, um, yeah. uh, it's, I would imagine that you could actually get a job in that. So that, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I never finished the degree, man. It's like, I need to take like a foreign language. Um, I, I should it. probably get on that at some point. Do you think that you're actually going to do it or are you just like not going to do it? Man. I mean, at this point, I wish they would just give it to me. I hope anybody, if anyone from the university of Iowa, you know, the registrar's office, if you're watching, hook me up. Oh yes, please, Iowa. Yeah. Let, let's do this tonight. Let's yeah. make a let's yeah. make a British dream, <laughs> dream come true. Uh, yeah, honorary so, degree, please. I need it. I need it. <laughs> so the funny thing is, we get our conversation like about five seconds before the public gets it. It's a very strange little uh, yeah. little thing that Instagram does. Just so you know, yeah. just so you know. Uh, I was gonna. I forgot that was not where. That's not the end of the question. So mm -hmm. you got out of grad school, and then what happened? I mean, like you got a job right away. You went. <laughs> Yeah, man, it was like, uh, it was a really hectic job search. So um, my wife, Raina, uh, she's also a uh, professor. Raina Young. Yeah. yeah, Raina Young. Yeah, professor of photography. Shout out to the living room, Raina Young. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, yeah, we applied for jobs and we, you know, both just kind of made a commitment to each other that, you know, whoever um, got like the best offer, that's where we would go together. Um, and it was like super scary and we, um, 
yeah, I mean, we applied for like so many jobs. I mean, it was like, I think something close to like 40 jobs. Um, and, uh, wow. Yeah. And you know, I, jobs. yeah, oh yeah. I was like lucky enough to get, you know, multiple interviews. I was really, um, you know, happy about that. And then, um, yeah, I interviewed at Arkansas and I was able to come visit. Um, and actually, <laughs> actually I almost missed my visit here, man. Uh, I fell asleep. Um, I was at an interview at uh, Florida State University, and I fell asleep. Um, <laughs> and what? I over, yeah, I overslept, and so yeah, they had to like rearrange some tickets because I was supposed to go from Tallahassee, Florida, back to Lincoln for like a day, and then fly back to Arkansas to do a campus visit. Um, but I got stuck in the airport uh, in Tallahassee because I was like so just taxed. I missed my flight in the morning. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, job interviews, um, interviewed here at Arkansas. Um, you know, I got to, um, you know, come and uh, work with my colleague, Becky Drolin. Um, you know, we got to hang out for a couple of days and, you know, kind of interact in the classroom space. And, you know, um, I think we both kind of walked away from that experience, like knowing that we could, um, you know, be a really good team together and, and, you know, try to build something really good with this, uh, with the program that we have here. And yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, it just felt right. And so, well, I'm yeah. sure that you'll do very well with the student there. I mean, like that, I, I would not question that at all. Um, yeah. So, you're both teaching. How many kids, how many people, kids, how many people just graduated? Well, or like, so, yeah, we had two outgoing seniors, um, or seniors, uh, two outgoing uh, 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 third years MFA students. Um, uh, Ashley Gardner and uh, Nicolette Bonagura. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, both uh, both graduated this year. Congrats, y'all, again. Congratulations. 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 I hope you're here or colleagues. Uh, we're yeah. somewhere having fun. Uh -huh. um, and, okay, cool. Thanks for giving me that information because I don't, like, I'm glad that you, like, shouted out the, the, the people that are going to the school out there because I know that you're going to do a great job. I'm doing that. Yeah. I'm happy that you're teaching the kids. So that's how you make a living. Where, um, what, how, what was the first photograph you ever made? Like, do you remember? I mean, like first, <laughs> what first, first photo are we talking about? Like first. Oh, I guess I'm saying like the first photo. photograph where you made it and you held, held it in your hands at, oh, actually, you know what? Maybe the first photograph you ever printed. Hmm. The first photograph I ever printed. Actually, you know what, dude? I don't know. I printed so much as an undergrad, like prints uh, and as like a grad student too. I printed a lot, just prints on prints on prints. I don't remember the first photograph I ever printed. It was probably something for corrections. Um, oh yes, but yeah, but yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't remember. Um, well, because you mentioned it, just uh, would you just mention what corrections was for you, like what what you were doing with that project? But like, it was your first big project. Yeah, yeah, it was like my gateway into photography. You know, I, um, yeah, I was, you know, studying, uh, and we, I was studying with uh, Jeff Rich um, at the time at the University of Iowa uh, and Margaret Stratton. Um, and yeah, we uh, like had a class that I just had to make, like you had to make a body of work. And I was like, you know, working, you know, as a tracker with kids on, like a, working with kids on probation. Um, uh -huh. and so, you know, I'm doing this job and What's yeah, a, track? a tracker. Yeah. So it's, um, it's like a form of incarceration, um, like probation. It's like, uh, like a community based, um, service. Uh, and so, um, so rather than like locking, you know, kids up, um, in detention facilities, you know, they get placed on probation, you know, they get to be, you know, at home in their communities. Um, gotcha. And then it's my job to like monitor and make sure that everything's going well. And then basically I'm supposed to be like in that role, you're supposed to be an intervention between um, uh, the kid and the police. Like, so you, you want to minimize additional contact with the criminal justice system. Um, and so then that was my job to kind of step into those. Yeah. Gotcha. That, <laughs> and you're making photographs at the same time as you're doing this job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was it hard to get people to let you shoot them or was it just kind of natural? Um, I mean, it was like, you know, the, to me, like the portraits, like making the portraits were an exercise in trust. Uh, you know, I had to, to be able to work with, you know, kids in the capacity that I was working with them. And, um, you know, 
we had to be able to trust each other. You know, I had to be able to trust that like they would, they were being, you know, forthright, you know, and honest with me. And then, you know, that they, they could trust that I wasn't, you know, going to do something to, you know, like screw them over essentially. Um, and that like, you know, and that I was like there to like, you know, basically just showing up for them, you know? And so like, um, you know, like walking into these hot situations, like, you know, between kids and their parents and, you know, being able to like, I guess, work the situation to a point where, um, you know, I am like a mediator and I'm just hearing both sides of the stories and then I can kind of relay information to each party in a more sort of judicious way, I suppose. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. All, more in, relatable. all just to, yeah, just to like to deescalate and then like, you know, kind of then through that process, like building relationships. And so like, you know, to be able to, to step, like to be in that role, like to, you had to trust people, you know, like you had to, um, you had to really be present for people. Um, and yeah, I think that's like the process of making, you know, the portraits that I was making, it was the same, you know, it was like, it, it was like, it came from an extension of that trust because the kids that I photographed were all kids that I worked with. Um, and so, you know, like I had these sort of like um, intimate relationships with, with them. So and did you want to be, one. did you always like, so did that help you want to become a professor? Um, or was it already in you before you did that? Yeah, I mean, I think I've always, like, inherently been an educator, you know? Um, I've always, like, I've always done really well, like, when I'm in positions of helping people learn things. Um, you know, I, like, you know, with my degree in psychology, um, one of the jobs that I had was working with people with disabilities. Um, you know, I work with people with mental illnesses. Um and, you know, in, in those roles, like, you know, it's all sort of like this goal based like service, you know, that you're doing. So um, the goal is to work them to a, uh, a place of like more independence. Um, and so you like, you know, like, I think I have inherently I enjoy that process. Um, but then I, I guess, you know, in those jobs, I just continually refine those skills of how to relay information, you know, like, you know, you have, you know, like, the person and you have their goal and then yeah. there's the gap in between. Right. And then it's my job to figure out, okay, what are the steps along the way to get the person from here to here? Right. See, um, uh -huh. And I've always been, I think like good at that on some level. And uh, yeah. And so yeah. Yeah. The, now do you, did you have a mentor in photography or like, how did you, was there someone guiding you through some of the first, like the, the early stuff? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Shout out to Jeff Rich. Um, yeah, French. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and also, uh, before you answer, um, shout out to the exhausted teachers on here for sure. For sure. I know you guys have been in a very tough situation for the past, what, two months, two and a half months, something like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Thank crazy. you for doing the work. It's very, it's very important to us. Yeah. <laughs> and the world is changing really fast. So it's, it's yeah. good to know that there's some good people out there actually um doing great work so yeah um, real life i hope you guys have classes again in the fall i hope that there's an instant vaccine like as we speak tonight or something you know like just let's get back let's get let's get it let's go back uh but i mean not meaning like not like like let's spend our like save you know yeah, save you know save you know you know anyway, yeah. yeah. <laughs> thanks to the teachers for real um yeah. so do you yeah sorry so please uh, a mentor Jeff Rich. Oh yeah, Jeff Rich and and Margaret Stratton. And I think, you know, like for me, they were mentors, of course, and you know, like helping me refine my artistic skills. Um, but also in, you know, like how to be a good teacher, you know, like how how to be a, a, a good listener, um, you know, how to um, you know, how to how to express yourself, like I guess in, in ways like I guess being an effective communicator. And, you know, um, uh, you know, Walker Pickering and Dana Fritz, you know, both of the professors that uh -huh. I studied with. And uh, shout out to, shout yeah. out to Dana and yeah. Walker. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Dana and Walker. Um, I saw I mean, Walker's on here. He's definitely, I know, yeah. he better be, I know, he's, he, he better he's be out there trolling. He's always trolling. Um, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, like, you know, just mentors, you know, for, you know, speaking up for yourself and, um, you know, not being not being afraid of those really tough conversations. Um, yeah, they were always, they were all really good at great in that capacity. 
um, and in a lot of ways, you know, they they just they lay, they did a lot of really stellar work in preparing me to be, uh, you know, the the professor, um, you know, the artist that I am today. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so there's also like, I wanted to kind of say, well, ask what is strange fire collective? I know a little bit of, I mean, I know about what you guys are doing, but yeah. I, I think that people would love to know more about that. Yeah. Um, so strange fire collective, uh, you know, it's, um, uh, a collective, uh, you know, myself, uh, Jess Dugan, Raphael Soldi, Hamida Glasgow, um, mm -hmm. you know, we, um, you know, we started this thing together, you know, very much, uh, you know, Jess's idea, but, you know, like I, with like choosing, you know, this, this core group of people to, to bring together. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, our goal was just to promote the work of, um, you know, like, you know, voices that we often don't hear, you know, in, in art. And so, you know, like with just that mission, you know, we, like we, and then we if, tried to figure out like, okay, if we're going to do this, like, what is our, how do we sort of plan like simple programming, you know, something that kind of fits into all of our personal schedules, you know? Um, yeah, I know it's, it's, yeah. I mean, to even, yeah, like, there's right. no, I'm yeah. sure there's and no, so, yeah, that. you know, it just, it started as like interviews, um, you know, publications, exhibitions, you know, whether that's like web exhibitions or, um, or, uh, you know, like brick and mortar. Um, but yeah, like that's what we started with and, you know, it just kind of grew and I think, you know, kind of allowing it to be sort of, um, like, a, like it, it's really, it's a really nimble project. I think, you know, it touches a lot of different things and a lot of things that we did, we ourselves didn't realize from the outset, you know, that we, yeah. you know, How we became, going? uh, it's going on five, it'll be five this October. <laughs> I think somebody, <laughs> awesome. tryer, correct me if I'm so wrong. Cool. Um, but yeah, so we, yeah, we uh, have that. I think there's, I, I saw Jess say, hello, Jess, how's it yeah, going? Yeah, Jess, Raphael, Amita. Um, but uh, yeah, like, you know, like educators using it as a way to diversify their curricula, you know, we've heard a lot about that, um, uh, you know, being used in that way. And yeah, it's just, it, it's like, you know, definitely developing into this really wonderful archive of information. Um, yeah. yeah, that's like really accessible. And, um, you know, I think, you know, working, you know, to do, uh, you know, these unique, um, Q and a inter interviews, you know, um, yeah, yeah. we, we have these really in-depth conversations and I, and I, I like, I think one you of the, that soon? what's that? You're doing that soon. Uh, no, that's what we do already. Oh, I meant like, oh, sorry. I meant like, oh, but will you be on one of those soon? Oh, um, wait, one, one, what of what? An interview. Like, oh, I know you do the oh, interviews yeah. on like, sorry. I know, very confusing. I'm being confusing. But yeah, I know you did interviews on the website, but like, are you doing them live as well? Oh, yeah, I would like to. Uh, yeah, it's something I, I hopefully intend to do in the uh, near future. So, yeah, that'd be cool, man. Yeah. I would really yeah. like that. Um, so, yeah. yeah, go ahead. No, I mean, I have so many questions. I mean, yeah. if there's, any, if there's ever anybody else who wants to ask a question or anything, please let me know. You can just type it in and I'll. Right. I'll, I'll well, find you know, and I, I think, of course, you know, there's, you know, all of the stuff happening with Ain't Bad Magazine, Carson and Taylor. Um, oh, you know, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, like all of that stuff that, that's going on. And, you know, I, I think like, you know. So, yeah, okay. We, yeah, I mean, we like, can, we can how, definitely okay, how use what time so, we have left to, to dive into that discussion if we'd like to. No, no, that, that makes sense. I mean, we, we, we have like a half an hour. So, um. Okay. Would you like to explain like the specifics of the most recent like uh, thing? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, I think you know, like, I think you know, this is a conversation, of course, that like we've you know needed to have for you know years now. You know that it's not yeah. just you know that it's not just them that they are a symptom of you know this this system that we exist in that we participate in. Um, yeah. you know, that, yeah, it's not just, yeah, it's like, quite frankly, it's not just them. Right. You know, like, um, and I, I'm, and I, I guess like, I guess to sort of backtrack here, you know, this is like, it's a super complex thing to talk about. And, you know, I, yeah. I, I don't want to rob like anyone of their own opportunity to speak and tell their own story. And, um, there's a lot of stories. I mean, yeah, there's probably going right. to be more public stories soon, of right. course. Yeah. And so, you know, and I, I think that like, yeah, so I, 
I just, I guess I want to, I'm just putting it out there right now that like, you know, I'm, I'm only going to speak from my perspective and my experience and, you know, like there's information out there, you know, there's ways of finding that information. Um, you know, just go to my Instagram page. Um, there's a story, um, a highlighted story, a couple of highlighted stories there. Um, yeah. and so, you know, um, I mean, these are people that have sued people in the past. And so, um, you know, just as that, like as an added as layer of complication, you know, I'm just, again, I'm just going to speak from my own perspective and experience. Um, but I, I'm open to any question, but, you know, I think that like, a lot, again, a lot of feelings, you know, like from this, um, of course, like, again, a conversation that's like not new, but one that very much has needed to happen openly for a long time. Um, yeah. And that, and just, you know, like, and just in okay. case, because uh, I want to just explain a little bit about it. I think that the basis of what's happening right now is that uh, Ain't Bad was doing a call for submissions for uh, one of their yearly uh, publications that they make. I mean, beautiful publications. I was actually part of one a few years ago as a curator for a Curator's Choice thing. Part of the same issue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you're you're on the cover. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the world, the world is crazy. It's just like years go by, and you're just with people, yeah. and it's like this kind of interaction in a way. It's like, anyway. So, uh, so what happened with this year's American South uh, yeah. submission? The, the American South. I think that's right. It's the second book they've done in the American South. Mm-hmm. Um, they chose 15, 15? Yeah. Yeah. I believe 15 so. artists that yeah, were, um, yeah. well, pretty much I'm, I'm 15 white artists for the show, uh, mm-hmm. or for the book. And, mm-hmm. and that's what the, co- that's what the conversation is now. I mean, what, right. because the American South ha- includes in their view, Texas, mm-hmm. uh, Florida, you know, like it, it, it includes states that have like a, um, a population of diverse folk. artists. So, yeah, oh, yeah, a lot of Thanks, diverse, diverse human beings. So uh, why was that? Why did that happen is the real, you know, like. Yeah, right. But uh, yeah, I, I guess like also recognizing that the first issue that they did, um, you know, same thing. And I don't like I think that was that issue came out, I believe, like around the time that I was stu- like it was like I was studying. I remember it being released. But I, yeah, I don't ever remember like kind of thinking about, you know, thinking about it in that regard. Um, but yeah, like looking back and yeah, same story, you know. And, and so I don't know like if that question was asked, how it was asked, who may have asked it. And, you know, like, of course, if someone did, I, which I'm sure someone said something, um, you know, like obviously. <laughs> did I, I mean, it's, dwindled, it's so right? obvious. Yeah. But yeah. I, I guess like, you know, to kind of go back, you know, of course, so, so we all know like that's part of the story, but then, you know. Um, you know, their um, gross mistreatment of women, um, you know, women in their employ, um, you know, women that, uh, um, you know, that they were um, not necessarily their students, but like, you know, students um, as they, you know, were working for um, a school, you know, like all of those things as well. You know, again, there's I don't want to, I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't want to overlook. I mean, I know, right, I know. Right, right. But there's and a lot so, of stuff going on. Right. And so I guess like from this, from the start, you know, like, you know, big shout out, so much love to Miranda Barnes. Um, you know, of course, you know, black women always showing us how it needs to be done, you know, showing us the error of our ways. Um, <laughs> you know, Miranda, um, again, like just so much love to you um, for, for being so brave right. and for, for, you know, for seeing it and speaking it so clearly and so well. And, you know, in that moment, it like touched me, um, you know, like just this, the pandemic being at home, you know, this experience and this new experience of time, I've been thinking a lot about, you know, like these, um, like these sort of connections throughout time and that I've been at this, you know, for 10 years now from the start, you know, from when I decided I was gonna, you know, be a student and of art and that I was gonna, you know, try to be an artist. Um, it's been 10 years and, um, you know, like me that long ago, I never would have had the gumption to get on my so- my own social media account and, and just put it out there so plainly. Um, and, and yeah, like with so much just truth and beauty and yeah. yeah and, you know, we, we got to sit down, you know, with Miranda um, and, and some other, and some other folks who, um, have had, you know, sort of these peripheral connections with Ain't Bad. And, um, you know, I guess, yeah, just seeing so much like light and grace in that room, but just like, I think, you know, like, you know, talking with you and talking with Jay, 
um, mm-hmm. and talking with Megan. I think, you know, even in the replies to the email chain that, you know, that we started from that meeting, um, that everyone was just kind of like, how we just needed to make that space just to say it, just to say it all. Um, yes, you know, I know it's very important to each to other, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, but yeah, just from, you know, starting from there and now it's like, you know, we have, you know, information that's out there. We have people paying attention. We have people asking questions. Um, yeah. But again, you know, we've been here before. And, you know, so hopefully um, now we can maybe have a, a more sustained conversation. And, um, you know, like, uh, you know, after our talk ends, you know, with uh, Jay. Um, yeah, yeah. Jay and I are going to do a little after party and uh, talk about a few things that we've been talking about. Um, you know, things that we feel like, you know, we can, you know, contribute from our own perspectives and in our own ways, um, you know, as professors, like with our own research interests, you know, um, but then, um, you know, what are the other ways to, uh, you know, like, how can we bring more people in, you know, people who want to be involved and, um, you know, who want to do something. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, so that happens at the later, yeah. what time today? Is that uh, tonight? Yeah, yeah. So that'll be 915 my time. Um, so just to give myself a little bit of a break in between. What is your um, time now in your time? Uh, 8.33. So we oh, got, so you get 15 minutes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, yeah. I dig it. You don't get enough. You don't get a lot. But yeah, that's a nice little breather. Because speaking on this thing for two hours, oh my God, no way. Oh, no, it's okay, man. No I mean, I'm, I'm used to it. I've been like, I feel like I've been on the road the past two years, just like delivering lectures, um, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, Talking a lot. Anyway. We were just talking about like uh, anyway, yeah. music. I was thinking like, what was on your high school mixtape? Just to get a, a little lighter mood. I, oh, we yeah, talked yeah, about yeah, very, I, just, like, we, yeah. I just thought mm-hmm. about, it. but like, I know that we we we're talking real serious right now, and I just wanted to um, say that like the information is not finished with that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen in the future that you know we should be uh, you know looking out for because you know that like there's a lot of problems in the art world. It's not just, it's not just one company. I oh, see it as a systemic problem of non-representation for any, like most people that are not, you know, like anyway. So like I, there, there is a problem in the art world that exists. Uh, there is no, um, there is no faking that. So we are aware and we're not going to stand by anymore and just let the shit happen. I think that that is like kind of where I'm always at. And I think that, hopefully way more people uh get on that like this the moderacy in photography is fucking over i'm i'm not with it anymore yeah well but i I think it's i think it's also you know i think it's also important to say that you know it's hard i understand you know firsthand like i mean you know i i have to hold myself accountable in this like i knew for two years Mm -hmm. you know um there were plenty of people who knew and that we didn't say anything the first time but that you know, in that it's, it's hard to make yourself vulnerable in that moment, you know, like feeling, um, you know, like, what am I putting on the line? The fact that like, I got the news as I was here for my interview. Um, and I was just like, what, like, what, do, what do I do with this? Like how, like, I'm trying, yeah, like I'm trying to get like to, you know, to get a job, you know, um, <laughs> you know, to, to, you know, kind of start my career off and like, you know, like what, like what's the right thing to do. And, um, you know, I think it's, I think it's okay for people to not know, you know, I think it's okay. Yeah. 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 Of course. To not open yourself up in that way. Um, but I think we maybe just have to do, uh, like we have to become better at, at just, at just being brave and, and, and taking that step. And, you know, I think to me, you know, like, how can I, how can I make the work that I do and, Mm -hmm. and, 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 and have the conversation, have the conversations that I have, um, you know, how can I, how can I be the educator that I want to be if I'm just going to sit in silence, um, and not, and not use my voice, you know, for, uh, to do, to do the real, the real work. Um, Yeah. Dude, yeah, I mean, this is why you should be a professor forever. I mean, like, it's like <laughs> amazing. I, 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 I come if I was gonna go to a grad school, I'd come visit. I'd come with you, buddy. I'd go out there. I'd come to Arkansas for two two years, right? Not three years, but two years. 
What the the grad program? Yeah. No, three years, man. Three years. Yeah, three years. Come All right. With me. Get that MFA. All right. I'm a thing. I like. I think that at this point, if we, if I don't have like, if I can't Sarah go can in, come to. My, huh? Sarah can come too. Well, I mean, that's that has to happen. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we're we're moving to a new house. Uh, we got like more space. We'll have more room. Oh snap! Well, yeah, I mean, you know, like, it. yeah, like grad school's long, so we'll take. It. I'll have to get a space. <laughs> I think. Um, I can just can you imagine me just like in your like your bedroom for three years? Can you I imagine? Mean, that? We that would be for, absurd. We did it for a month. We survived. One month was cool. I mean, it was One really great to cool. out of you. We went we both part of the uh, Lightworks uh, amazing residency program. Yes, I would say if you haven't applied, you should definitely apply every year. Yeah. And you get in every single year is worth it. Um, it was a great month. We got to chill and like really like hang out. It's really, um, you know, it's valuable to me because it's like, or it's valuable because when can you ever like do that with anyone that's not like your fans? You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you can live with fans for a month, but you can never live with anybody else like a stranger. Like, no one lives with strangers for a month. That's crazy. <laughs> so, like, not to say we're strangers, but before we went there, we've we've seen each other on two hands amount of times in our lives, right? And then we lived yeah. together for 30 days. So, you know, it's a kind of funky experience. I really, I dug it. I mean, like, we play basketball. We do what we have to do on the, like, we exercise yeah. together. You know, like, I never... Man, I, didn't, I didn't realize, I didn't realize how solid you were. Like, you are, you're dense, man. You're a dense human being. <laughs> oh my god i didn't yeah and you're like you're so fast yeah i never be i never beat chris in basketball i don't think i'll ever beat chris in basketball i got the court out here too i went to walmart last weekend with sarah sarah drove me to walmart because i don't have a driver's license and uh uh two hundred dollars gets you a hoop a gla- like a acrylic yeah. for two hundred dollars the I country's mean, crazy I mean, I have a, I'll have a driveway soon, so I might be getting that hoop, and then I'm coming yeah, for you, dude. Get, I'm coming for you. Get the yo. Get the spalding. <laughs> uh, um, what is the last, uh, what is the last photo book you bought? We're, I am a book person, so I do need to know, like, mm-hmm. do you remember what the last one you got was? The last photo book I bought, well, um... I mean, I got uh, Mike Osborne's Federal Triangle for Christmas. Ooh, I know, I, yeah, I, know I, I had to have bought something after that. Man, I've been just like buying like book books. So I, um, you know, quarantine, I'm planning a class for my summer students. Um, so I got a copy of Citizen. Well, I had to buy a new copy of Citizen because this was in my studio and I'm, I'm kicked out of my studio. So I had to order a new copy, but that's all right. I'll buy 10 more copies. Um, uh, we got a uh, little black feminism reimagined. Um, wait, wait, who made that though? Black is uh, that the name of the book? Yeah, that's the book. Right down, feminism right reimagined. Down. Yeah, Jennifer Nash, uh, Jennifer C. Nash. Um, and so, uh, yeah, um, gotcha. And so far, and then last but not least, a little Patricia Hill Collins, um, intersectionality as a critical social theory. Um, this is yeah. I'm just I'm writing a class right now, and I decided. Um, you know, my students are going to get the real world experience of, um, yeah, we're going to pick this thing apart. We're going to, you know, yeah. like how, how, Dude. how do we, you know, how do we define this region, um, in equitable ways, you know, like photography, how has photography been used to define the American South? Like, why do we need a definition of the American South? Um, huh? and yeah, so we're, we're going to, we're going to figure it out. We're going to do some studying and some oh, great. Great, great, great. Yeah, I can asking, not ask real life questions. Not, okay, so we have some questions coming. But before I answer, like, ask the questions that are coming, okay, if you, if you have questions, please write them in the thingy thing now. If I didn't see your question from before, rewrite it because the scroll is long. I'm, I'm, I can't do it. Uh, I wanted to ask before we got into those questions, though, what was the, do you remember the first photo book you ever bought? Ooh, first photo book I ever bought. Well, no, okay, again, I don't know. Um, so, but I, I remember the first photo book that I saw, like that really kind of like interrupted, you know, kind of how I thought, you know, photography and like all of this stuff worked, um, was, uh, Daniel Shea's, um, Blissner. Um, Blissner. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. That was a good, that was a really good book. That was like, I was like, well, wait, what, what is this? Um, yeah, for yeah. Real. 
Yeah. Uh, Daniel lives down the block, man. He's cool as yeah. shit. Yeah, I've heard good things. I've never met him. Uh, but shout out to Daniel. Very cool. Okay, so and I, okay, so the question we have is, how was your process with? Well, the first book was Corrections, as we mentioned, and the second book you made uh, was with me called Lost Omaha, which is kind of like a precursor book mm-hmm. to big book you made, which yeah. I want you to talk about now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. Congratulations. You sold out of this handmade oh, yeah. beautiful book from Deus Press. Do you, you have one next to you? Yes, I do. It's, uh, yeah. Hold on just a second. And hello, uh, while you, while you find it, what yeah. up, Frank, Frank and I are making a book later this year. Frank Francis, bong bong. Uh, <laughs> we got, uh, Christine. What's up? Uh, yes, I'll definitely come by when I go to Arkansas. I mean, if I'm going to be there, then it's going to be a, a road trip down to see everyone. Um, oh, please. Man. Sorry, I keep, I yeah. got to keep fast. Yeah. No, it's, keep... it's good. Yeah, we got to keep moving. Um, yeah, so yeah, I got a copy of uh, At No Point in Between here, um, published by uh, Deus Books. Um, yeah, shout out Can to you show Tom people Bush. that sheen. Show people that sheen, oh, baby. I don't know if I... A little bit. Oh yeah, no, you got it. Yeah, 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 yeah a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, we uh, just uh, the book just sold out. Um, yeah, if anyone you know out there has some money and wants to help me get this newsprint edition made, let me know. Hit me. Oh up yeah, yeah. we're gonna, DMs. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. we want to. So, yeah, we want to make. I want to make an accessible copy. I want to get. I want to get accessible copies for uh, the people in North Omaha. Um, well, who would so, you would you make it with Deus as well? Yeah, I mean, I just need some money. I mean, we have it okay, done. Cool. So let's check it out. There's 156 people here. Yeah, 156. If 100 people give 20 bucks, we're making this book. Yeah, accessible we'll copy. Out. Real cheap. I want to make it $5 a copy, and we're just print. Ooh, oh, yeah, no, we can do uh, Let me think. Five. Okay, so this is what this is what it's going to come. No, let's, let's talk do. about that later, Chris. Don't run your we'll don't talk later. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Don't I'll just go into numbers. Yeah. Let's yeah, not do that. Numbers. I want to ask we'll before, what was yeah. your, we're going to break it. Like we're like, we've done enough of talking about serious shit. I think. Thank you so much. We have 15 minutes left. If you have questions, okay. please ask. There is one question that I'll ask what I want to ask. Okay. Well, actually, while I find this question, can you answer like, what was your, what was on the high school mixtape? Like the CD that you burned? Like just give me one or two I mean, tracks. Or two kinda, tracks. It just, well, it just kind of depended on like, you know, where the night was taking us, you know, like, you know, were we going to be on the loop? Are yep. we going to be racing? Yep. Are we going to be like hanging out? It, it just, what song you know, do you still of, put on though? What's the track uh, you still put on? Low key. I'll, I'll still put on some, some sandstorm. I love techno. Okay. I dig it. Come at me. <laughs> techno, techno for real though. I mean, techno is Detroit, baby. Let's do that. Like it, there's no like techno for real. Technophobia. Yeah, yeah. uh, okay, so questions, real questions. Yeah, questions. What was what was the name of the last book? Oh, intersection. We just kind of did this intersectionality as a critical theory. What is that? A, yes, that's a. It's tough. Do you want to dive into this or like? Oh, like what? Like what the book is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Well, so okay, so intersectionality. Just to summarize, it's basically like how like different modes of oppression like intersect, right? And so it comes from legal study, uh, Kimberly Crimshaw, Um, you know, like basically it was legal, um, like different forms of segregation, like oppression were like, it was, you could, you couldn't claim discrimination for being black and for being a woman. Like you, you couldn't claim both like in a legal sense. And so um, she did work and like figured out how to talk about like intersectionality, like how these things connect, how they work together, that they don't exist like in these like codependent or these independent ways right um and so like i think as you know as i've gotten to know myself more as an artist um you know i think that my education in psychology um you know my interest in um you know like i guess like um yeah like in just like you know like how like just different social phenomena i guess you know like i'm Mm -hmm. I'm interested in how these things like develop how they're like how they're designed to work um and then how they you know like function in the real world like when air and all this other stuff happens anyway so that's like kind of what i do but and like it like it makes sense to me um as like a way of um thinking as an artist um you know like i want to talk about redlining um but 
it's designed to be invisible. And then how do I use my camera to photograph something invisible? And so yeah. then it's like, yeah, like, you know, how, so it's like, I'm trying to find these different ways of speaking on it through solely photographs. Um, and so, yeah, this book, right. Intersectionality as a Critical Theory, um, it, it talks like uh, Patricia, Patricia Hill Collins, she's talking about exactly that, that she's not interested in like, you know, like talking about intersectionality in the way um, that we understand it and from like a legal standpoint, but that it can just be a thought process. And so you have, um, there's an example in one of these other books that I'm reading, um, an early, like one of the earliest, like um, recorded forms of intersectionality was a book written by a black woman. And she like, it was like talking about like different forms of um, uh, like, it was like, ah, got it. I'm losing the example. But anyway, she, um, in her book, she was talking about like these three different things, but like looking at like these three different social phenomena, but looking at how they connected or related to each other. Um, I'm butchering it, but it's in the Jennifer Nash book, Black Feminism Reimagined. Um, but anyway, like, yeah, that's like, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, okay, if this is what I do as an artist, how do I teach that to other people? Yeah. And help them find some sort of agency within that, in their own way of expression. Again, not saying that you have to go out and make work that's about, you know, all this terrible shit in the world, but that like, you know, if you just start thinking in an intersectional way, yeah. does that open up connections or like, pathways, so like, possibilities yeah. of how you can think more deeply about your art? Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. of course. Wow. Um, I don't want to run out of time with you, and we have a lot of questions coming in, so I want to um, lightning round. So can you, like, answer these next questions within two sentences? I will try my hardest. I talk a Okay, lot. cool. Let's do this. Can you teach a class to enlighten the community? Um, answer shortly, by the way. Like, just let's not yeah. go to... I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'll do a master class somewhere. Somebody pays me enough money. Okay, cool. Sorry, yeah. excuse me, my bad. Um, yes, we can get that going. It's time to get this stuff going. What made Zora switch from law enforcement work to art? Um, it was just, you know, I loved the work that I did, uh, the human service work that I did. Um, it was just really, really tough, emotionally taxing. You know, people's lives don't shut off when you punch out. Mm -hmm. um, and so, but knowing that, like, you know, I'm a, a fairly empathetic person, um and yeah so it like I, I couldn't sustain doing that anymore and so um i started taking pictures just as a way of like you know kind of um self-expression i suppose and then yeah just like fell in love with what i was doing and that was it from there yeah awesome somebody said name of author but i don't know which book you're referring to the name of author okay um, yeah yeah i'll uh I'll post about it later. I'm okay, sorry. cool. Uh, the conversation on photography, document or object, where do you think we are going? Document or object? Hard. I mean, isn't a photograph both a document and an object? We hope so. I mean, a, a, a decent photograph could be that. Both and, either or. <laughs> oh, the intersectionality <laughs> book is uh, Intersectionality as a Critical Social Theory, Patricia Hill Collins. Okay. Got okay. What advice would you give someone making work within a community that they are not a part of? Oh shit. That's way longer than 10 minutes. But I, mean, uh, I yeah, I mean, that is a, that's a very long question to unpack and um, you know, we're not going to do it justice here, but I think what you would do, what you need to do is ask yourself why you're doing what you're doing the best way. Like people ask this question in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, when it comes to like sort of like since censorship is what you make as an artist and like, like the best answer that I've like sort of come to um, that like I heard from Dred Scott talking about his own work <clears throat> or no, someone asked him about the, the Dana Schutz painting um, open casket um, at the, I think it was, it was a biennial, right? Whitney biennial. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But he, you know, he said like, you know, he is like, he is in no way the first person to ask somebody about like censoring art. Um, and we're talking about Dred Scott here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but but then he but then he said you know like how he deals with that is that he um, he always like he always holds himself accountable. He will always hold him. He like has made that promise to himself that he will always hold himself accountable for his work. Mm -hmm. So if he slips up, if he goes too far, and he talked about like things that he made like where you know he felt like he went too far, and he was like, 
I was willing to apologize for that, that it like I, I did it. I take ownership over it, you know, over it. And yeah, um, I, I'm willing to learn from that mistake. Um, he, and I, I think it's hardest, told right? <laughs> I don't know if he did this, but he said that he yeah. would like to me, we were at the Brooklyn Museum uh, for an opening and he was like, I'm going to stage a slave revolt and I'm going to walk from like Georgia. Yeah, to- about that. yeah. He was talking about that when he came, he, he came to UNL, he was talking about that. And then I saw like, I was like, man, I just like, I'm just gonna, I gotta keep my eyes open so I can see, you know, when it happens. And yeah, like it happened, man. He did That's it. Dope. He did it. Oh, yeah. man. Oh my gosh. I, I, okay. Cool, so there's man. more questions. I'm sorry. We gotta keep going. What yeah. advice would you give to students who are new to this photo world on how to navigate this world, specifically with all these crazy things happening? Can I just start this one? Uh, yeah. You know, Perfect. like it's always been fucked up and we have to we have to put it upon ourselves to actually change the situation. Nobody is going to change the situation for us. So if you're making work that needs to be out there, you have to push it completely. Nobody is going to help you. And if people help you, it's really great. And it's like, it's amazing, but it does not happen often. It's not often enough. You're not going to get a call every month, every, definitely not every day. Um, so, you know, do it yourself. Like make sure that you get your work to the people that need to see it. Email, email everyone. Like, find emails you can find emails uh, yeah, like yeah i mean it's just yeah like yeah build build community find ways in which to sustain community um mm-hmm. you know be real be honest you know do the work um yeah yeah i mean i yeah everything that i know i've learned from you know like just this very large swath of people um yeah. you know that i've just you know become connected to over the years and you know like the family just you know that family just continues to grow um it's um, crucial it's vital Oh, uh, what is what is next? I mean, we've talked about so much shit. Oh, by the way, the thirty percent off thing. I'm doing it, it. The code is blue sky. I didn't put code, but I'm not rewriting that thing. So, so it's just the code is blue sky. Um, <laughs> what else is there, man? I mean, like, fuck. What were you gonna do before this? Uh, the world ended. Like, what, what did you have a plan? <laughs> like something. I mean, that- yeah, like I had some. You know, I had some shows coming up, and um, yeah, you know, like. We're figuring out. We're figuring it out. You know, like, what do you do? Yeah, for real. How do you how do you navigate it? Um, you know, what's important? What's not important? Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's so much stuff to. And you've been teaching until like this week, last week. Uh, last week. Yeah. So this is like your first week off. Congratulations! You've taught another year, man. Congratulations! You get yeah. a summer. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> year two. It was a wild year. I think it's going to calm down. It just got more hectic. Yeah. Shit's crazy, man. And uh, I knew that like when we were in Syracuse last summer, you were Mm -hmm. saying like, I'm definitely coming back here to print next summer. And I was like, yeah, okay, we'll see what happens. And then like now this, right? Like it's like, (laughs) anyway, craziness. Um, Mm -hmm. The, there's no real question. The, re- the last question I see is also, did Carson or Taylor accept your <laughs> invite to this combo? So the thing yeah. about Instagram feeds is you can only have two people at a time. So we're just going to like leave that one alone. Come yeah, on. well, and I just, I have a hot temper. I got it from my mom. I mean, I learned, I, I learned the value of it, you know, that like, yeah. yeah. You know, like yeah, say, no, you know, say okay. shit when you, when you see shit. But um, yeah, sometimes it just, it pop off, you know? Yeah, no, this is not the place. Yeah. <laughs> no, screw it. Or, like, oh, or, okay. or, or why? Like, more importantly, why? Yeah, yeah, there's no reason. Why? It's like, there's you no can't, reason. it's not, there's no help there. All right, really quick. This is, this is, this is like fire round. What's the TV show right now, man? It's, it's quarantine times. What's the TV show? Oh, man, there's been so many. So I've been, um, I've been watching a lot. Well, I watched um, Westworld. I had to, I had to go back through season two, but it was like, I, I'm glad that good? I went back. I heard it was good. Oh yeah, it was really good. Yeah. But I'm, cause I tried to watch season two when it first came out and uh, yeah, it was like, it didn't work out well cause I was busy and scatterbrained, couldn't pay attention. Um, but now mm-hmm. that I had some time to do it. So yeah, I watched that. And then the third season, but yeah, a lot about, you know, like disrupting timelines, um, like questioning reality revolutions, um, you know, like, Revolt, uprising. <laughs> <laughs> the 
excited. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah. Okay, that's, I think we have two more minutes. Do you, do you have any questions for me as the interviewer? Like, what, is there anything I can, oh, Deadbeat, before we go, Deadbeat, uh, yeah, holler at me, man. We got, we can do this thing. Let's, let's fucking do this. Deadbeat, that's holler. Cool. Um, and uh, is redemption possible for artists, publications, and speakers in the photo community like Ain't Bad, whose actions have hurt marginalized people? Uh, can they be vin- like? Uh, can they cr- like? Can they rise above? Yeah, man, they can rise above. Life is long. They're young ass cats. So, like, I would say yes. The answer is yes. But what do you think, Dora? Yeah. All right. Well, that's good enough. Uh, maybe I don't know them at all. So that's all I'll say. Uh, any other questions? And well, thank you, Zara, for being here. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> I, I like, I oh, really yeah. appreciate yeah, it. Sure. Um, Blue Sky appreciates it <laughs> so yeah. much. Blue Sky. And, uh, yeah. Damn. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. You're, I mean, yeah. Go on, yeah. My feed 915. I'll be there. Oh um, yes. You're yeah. doing this yeah, again. Yeah, come very good. If you want to, um, Jay will be there. I'll be there. We'll be taking. Uh, it's going to be more Q and A. We'll just do a short talk, like short intros, um, and then and then Q and A. But we'll be there, uh, nine fifteen Central Standard. And I'll be there asking multiple questions that you can choose to answer or not. But um, I leave it up to you. Uh, of course, man. Yeah, it's been good. Good to see you. I'm sure. Last- well, we. I mean, we got another. We got another book to print. So I guess we're going to be talking soon. Ooh, don't fucking say that, man. I'm ready, baby. Well, Anytime. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> All right, just John. call, man. I, I'll work out. <laughs> we'll talk tomorrow. But anyhow, okay, okay. we're out. And uh, favorite anime, someone asked favorite anime. Do you have one? Because Street Fighter V, you never seen the Street Fighter V series? <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, dude. Get out of here. Yeah, I mean, this is real. That's real anime. Get Street Fighter V like 30 episodes. Like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I got it. Cool. Well, peace out. Thank you very much for being yes, here. Yes. The code for 30% Bye, off. Everybody. It ends at midnight. 30% off ends at midnight. And Blue Sky. Thanks, everybody. Peace out. Thank you so much. Bye. I'll see you soon, brother. <laughs>